Hello again. Yes, I will sometimes do this where I'll make two or three videos the same day because I feel like it. But today I wanted to uh, chit chat with you a little bit because um, number one, I want to tell you that my lineage is Ibu. Uh, my African lineage is Hebrew. And of course, there is a bit of Hispanic in there and a bit of Irish. In other words, I am diversity personified. So, I mention that because there are a lot of people here in the United States that are, that are Nigerians. And as you know, the attack against immigrants is pretty, pretty strong. But I want to I read you something from a book. This book, by the way, is called Starry Messenger Cosmic Perspection or Perspectives on Civilization by Neil deGrasse Tyson. It should be in your library, I believe. By the way, I want to read you something um, because it's relevant. There are a lot of people are going to be voting especially since they're going to be voting based upon their attitude toward immigrants of color. Okay, speaking of Nigerians, and as I said, I'm part of Ibu. Ibu. Okay, speaking of Nigerians, immigrants to the United States enjoy 8% higher household income than the national average. And ethnic Nigerian children in the United Kingdom, especially those from the Ibu tribe, yay, okay, consistently attain higher test scores on average than their white United Kingdom counterparts. I thought I'd let you know about that. So, immigrants are probably not the evil people that you've been made to believe, okay? I'm telling you because you're going to be voting in a few minutes, few days, and you really need to vote based upon what you think. Based upon you and thinking for yourself to make decisions. Remember, there is this fantastic book, by the way, this book right here, okay? And in this book, it contains, it's a compilation of different ideas and it's a compilation of ideals and it is a wonderful book to have in your library. I would suggest three things. When you get this book, read only what Jesus said. Okay? As far as the people in this book, are con in this book is concerned. Only read what Jesus said brilliant mind, a very enlightened soul. Remember, Siddhartha became the Buddha. Remember that? Siddhartha became enlightened and became the Buddha. Jesus became enlightened and he became the Christ. So, my recommendation is just to read what Jesus said. The other books that I think you should read are the book Sirach, and of course, the Proverbs. In my opinion, the Proverbs is like a copy of the wisdom of Sirach. I thought I'd let you know that. After all, when we talk about... Oops, what was that? When we talk about wisdom, he who has an ear to hear will hear. Now, um, a little personal note. <laughs> this, is, this is so good. A personal note to the women who are watching my videos in secret because they don't want to upset they don't want to upset their husband husbands and let their husbands know that they're watching me in secret. It's okay. It's okay. You keep watching. Or not watching. It's okay. Understand this. This book I just told you about the Bible. They give you two very important secrets. 
The first secret is this. People who follow microdactism, rules number one, two, and three, that is, people who know themselves, people who are determined to be the best human being that they can be, they are the righteous ones. And the Bible tells you that the righteous people, the righteous ones, will always get what they desire. Now, the secret is that that is true. And of course, those who choose not to be, re re to be righteous, those who choose to reject their own humanity and listen to other people, they live in fear. And those who live in fear will always get what they fear. That which I fear has come upon me. So be righteous. And really, you don't have to listen to me because the day will come, your day of redemption and freedom, when you'll be free to watch anything you wish. In the meantime, do have a beautiful and wonderful day. Take care. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Oh, I almost forgot. We are going to be voting. We're going to be both voting in a few more days. And I wanted you to remind you of something. The Tao. This was written thousands of years ago, but it's really speaking to our generation, which is the holy, enlightened generation. Let me repeat that. This was written thousands of years ago, but it is speaking to our generation. Ready for this? Okay. This is brilliant. Okay. When a country obtains great power, it becomes like the sea. All streams run downward into it. The more powerful it grows, the greater the need for humility. Humility means trusting in the Tao, thus never needed to be defensive. A great nation is like a great man. When he makes mistake, he realizes it. Having realized it, he admits it. Having admitted it, he corrects it. He, con he considers those who point out his faults as his most benevolent teachers. He thinks of his enemy as the shallow that he set himself casts. He thinks of his enemy as the shadow that he himself casts. If a nation is centered in the Tao, creation, universal intelligence, if it nourishes its own people and doesn't meddle in the affairs of others, it will be the light to all nations in the world. The Tao. The Tao Te Ching, which was written some like 3,000 years ago. Now you know.